help a girl out and subscribe. So folks, I did it again. I overspent by £30,000. Uh, you didn't mishear that. Uh, essentially, I made three fundamental financial mistakes that I know better. I mean, I do know better, but for some reason, I still made these mistakes. Uh, I'm gonna share them with you in the hope that you don't have to make them. Now, um, I got a salary increase, my husband got a salary increase, and all of a sudden, our house felt smaller. We were only in a two bed and we decided it would be nice to just have an extra bedroom for friends and family should they want to stay over. Sounds fairly reasonable. In the beginning I was like no 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 we're not doing it we're not doing it but we just were not finding what we wanted and I didn't want to move home to something that I would then need to move again in the next two years. So very quickly our budget went from what it was to nearly a hundred grand more. Ridiculous. Okay so the first one was lifestyle inflation. It happened slowly and all of a sudden we were now hunting for uh, properties within the price range that was way more than what we wanted in the beginning but as we went through the property hunt we made mistake number two which was looking for a property in a hot market just essentially when there's really high demand and houses are flying off the shelf a year where inflation is really high bills are going up energy costs more petrol costs more food costs more everything costs more because of the high inflationary environment that we live in at the moment which i did predict by the way if you look at my video where i talk about the economy i told you inflation was going to lead to price hikes so if you watch that video you were probably prepared but anyway we decided to look at this time and to add complexity to it decided to have a child which is just like a, another super expensive thing to add to the recipe so all of those were a really bad combination for becoming less of a flexible to negotiate position so we found the house that we wanted we loved it and we ended up offering top of our budget for it. The third mistake that we made was looking at when you're not flexible, when you need to move. And we thought the mortgage company was going to go and do a survey and actually uh, confirm the value that we put on the house but they decided to do a desktop valuation which came in line with what we'd offered but then uh, we decided to personally take our survey ourselves just to make sure and we hired a, a surveying company and they came back and told us that they thought that we had paid nearly 30 to 35 grand more than we should um, or at least offered that much and at this point this is where the issue is when you're not flexible <laughs> we did not want to pull out you know we had a baby on the way and it was just not something that we wanted to do so uh, we we took it on the chin and paid that extra 30 grand so that the whole chain didn't collapse. We bought the house and I love it, we love it and suffice it to say we think that it's probably not as big a disaster because we plan to live here long term um, but you know that's a very dangerous thing to do, pay more than a house is worth because you never know where the property market's going to go, it could go downhill very quickly and if you need to move very quickly you will find yourself in negative e equity which means that you owe more than what you actually have in the house but fortunately we plan to be here for at least a few years. My hope is that in that time we'll be able to recoup our money because inflation is so high a lot of things like houses petrol energy just essentials tend to go up in value um, and so this just basically gives me a little bit of comfort in knowing that in as much as I made all these errors at least the timing in terms of an inflationary environment is probably okay and will cushion the blow of my bad decision making so if you find my videos useful please give me a like and please subscribe there's like 60% of people who watch my content are not actually subscribers you know i'm trying to get to the 500 mark with my channel so if you find the information i share useful help a girl out and subscribe obviously if you don't find my videos useful don't subscribe but um yeah that's it for me today and i shall see you on my next video